Hello everybody, Shaziz here. <clears throat> I have a friend over at TNS Radio Ireland that uh, told me about a rodent coil. So uh, what I did here is I took the, uh, after watching the videos of how to's making rodent coils and all that kind of jazz, I went and uh, customized one myself just to see what kind of things this thing was capable of. And so I'm running through this one here about 20,000 volts DC. Let me get this a little closer here. Anyway, in the centerpiece right here, you can't see it because I got a rag to keep the uh, the uh, coil and everything separated from the inside of the coil so that it's not making any contact there and uh, essentially what I did was I took a uh, a flyback transformer out of a uh, old tube type TV of course it's not the same as this type of flyback transformer it's uh, an older one kind of round I'll have to uh, dig another one out and show you later if you, if you need to know what it is anyway what I did was I took a flyback transformer and I uh, connected a big wad of aluminum foil to the back of that to act as a conductor to uh, pick up the uh, the field and basically wadded it all up around the uh, bottom of uh, the prongs off the flyback transformer and what I wanted to see was whether or not the field within this uh, rodent coil I call mine a dream catcher because that's what it kind of looks like <laughs> anyway uh, I wanted to see if the field within this uh, version of the rodent coil was strong enough to uh, charge that uh, flyback transformer and uh, on the inside of here uh, the wires touching this aluminum can right here so let me fire this thing up and show you what it can do here I got two versions of high voltage testers They're real easy to make you get you a ink pen and a uh, old flash bulb and you can put the flash bulb down inside there and then one end goes to the ground and then the other one you use to touch the, your your uh, source to see if you got high voltage uh, you can see that thing light up let me uh, kill some lights here that way uh, you can see this better doo -doo 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 -doo. let's see if that helps out any okay there's the first let me turn that light off right over there too see if we can actually see some arcs on this thing alright let's try it with this one This is definitely not one you want to touch because it uh, it will lay you out. So essentially, within the center of that coil, it has enough uh, enough of a strong magnetic field to uh, charge up that flyback transformer pretty impressive of course I'm going to hook this to AC and do some magnetic test as well but uh, you know me I like high voltage I'm trying to do something totally different than everybody else I designed my coil just a little bit different than theirs mine's a 16 point plus it has a secondary coil with it and I don't know if you can see it because it's dark. Let me turn the light on here in a second. I'm 
trying to get it so you can see an arc off this thing. Either way, there's some serious voltage going through there. Alrighty, hold on here a second. Turn some lights back on. don't know how well you can see this because my camera sucks. Someday I gotta get me a new camera. But what we have here in this part, this section right here would be the, the rodent coil, the star point. And this section right here that you see is a secondary coil that's what I added and it seems to boost the power up a hair I won't know until I do some AC test either way uh, I just thought I'd make a short video and show you this if you haven't been over to uh, TNS Radio Ireland go over and check him out Vin he's a nice guy he's the one that told me about the rodent coil and uh, so uh, go tell him Shaziz said hi <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm gonna pull this out here. All right, that's uh, that's what I did right there. <laughs> See that wad of aluminum that uh, picks up the uh, current flowing around in there, and it's connected to a flyback transformer that's inside of here and then I got the aluminum can to transmit the electricity alrighty then let me try something else here yay See that? Let me turn the light off again and try that one more time. <laughs> I keep stepping on wires everywhere. Alright. Energy saver bulb. Ta da! Not something you want to touch, but you can see it's lighting up that energy saver bulb. It's not touching anything. Yay! All right, well, that's enough for that video right there. This is Shaziz signing out. Uh, don't forget to check out uh, TNS Radio Ireland. He's on YouTube. I'll uh, put his name in somewhere so you can see how it's spelled. The uh, guy's name's Vin. He's got his own radio show. Really nice guy. Go say hi to him. Alright, still me again. Uh, one last thing before I go. Uh, this rodent coal right here is just kind of not, it's not involved with the uh, research that I'm doing right at the moment. I might try to see if I can add it in. Um, but uh, Vin from TNS Radio Ireland told me about it so I figured I'd do a little bit of uh, research on it and see how it works and uh, apparently it's a pretty impressive uh, coil so if you're into that kind of stuff go out there and uh, take a look at some of the uh, videos out there on it and uh, I think you might uh, 
be interested in it. When I do some AC tests on the thing, then I'll uh, I'll show you what it can do even more. And uh, I don't know if you've seen Congressman Bongwater yet, but uh, let me know if you like Congressman Bongwater, and maybe I'll uh, do a series on Congressman Bongwater. <laughs> Think about uh, getting me in the new New World Order Remedy guy. We're talking about uh, doing an interview with Congressman Bongwater. He's a pretty unique character. So let me know if you like him. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>